Chief Minister Nongtoma Birin says 24 crore rupees has been earmarked in state budget to improve schools under School for Hansib scheme. Student declared failed in recent graduation final semester examination due to recklessness of Manipur University turns out to be state third ranker. State government honors outstanding personnel of NAB and Manipur police who played major role in curbing drug menace in the state. Minister Karam Shyam reminds youths they have major role in nation building, urges you to work hard and nurture their passion. Agriculture Minister V. Hankalian calls for proper coordination among various government departments to ease the plight facing farmers of the state. And Kwaramban Ham breach, popularly known as Thong Nambon B status, due to recklessness of authorities concerned. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Prime Time in this news. I'm Ibito Toktong with the top stories and latest news at this hour. The Department of Education Schools Manipur along with Board of Secondary Education held the combined 46th and 47th Annual Prize Distribution Function Come Incentive Award Ceremony 28 and 19 at, Palace Conven at City Convention in Palace Compound today. Chief Minister Nongtoman Biren and Education Minister Thokchom Radisham felicitated toppers of 2018 and 2019 board examinations by presenting them with gold, silver and bronze medals and CARES awards in the event. Students holding 4 to 25th positions were presented CARES award of 1 lakh rupees each. First position holders of its districts were presented with 50,000 rupees CARES award while second position holders in each district were presented with 25,000 rupees CARES awards. In all, 209 awards were distributed today out of which 125 awards were under BOSIM while another 84 were incentive awards instituted by the Department of Education A's. Speaking at the event, Chief Minister Nongtumban Biren assured that majors are underway to improve government schools in the state under school for Gathansi scheme by selecting one school each from all the 60 constituencies of the state in the, its first phase. He expressed happiness that performance of students from both private and government school has improved in the state and credited the achievement to the teachers. Chief Minister Biren claimed that BJP in its almost Two and a half years tenure has brought immense improvement in the state education sector. He disclosed that 24 crore rupees have been earmarked in the state budget to further enhance education sector in Manipur. He maintained that the centre has also sanctioned 19 crore rupees for the same. The chief minister stated that selected schools right from primary level will be provided with, sta with state-of-the-art modern educational infrastructure and an open gym each under the project. Birain declared that public can witness success of the government's latest initiative within 10 days in some selected schools. He also mentioned that government intends to facilitate outstanding teachers. He appealed to parents, guardians, civil society organizations and people of the state to extend their cooperation in improving education sector of the state. Model kit le khat le kitar be school sing sthe the tam mudhe boza sing aur tam ning me interest le ko boza sing. Ek koi advertise na ning me taro kanda kaur ka ma ma ki interest le boza kaur boho kare. Education minister na mudhe education department masi ki wa wa thasa na taro boho kare. Masi ki mari le na koi monetary dar kar le bani na koi budget ta state budget ta koi twenty four crore ma ma koi yar ma taro ki another nineteen crore ma central ratio a koi ki school fund ka dhan sing ki category wise.
Taking part in the program, Education Minister Thokchum Radishyam also called for public cooperation to enhance education sector of the state. He stated that education department is just a mere department without the contribution of teachers, parents, guardians and the public. Radeshyam asserted that adequate teachers will be recruited and infrastructure will be enhanced in government schools. The education minister further assured of combining some schools as suggested by the public. He also affirmed that the special act will be passed to oversee private schools. Bosom Secretary C. Mary Thomas, top officials of the Education as Department and representatives of various students' organizations attended the event. An interaction program was also held for officials, JDOs, headmasters and teachers of the state education services on the occasion. Pressure cooker on top of the moisting. There is something in the honorable CM Haviram. Potential yard in Moida. Moidin of Sama, Imanum Yard, Hiram of Saja Putro Kodakale, Toki Tabuxe, Karana Toku, parents and teachers. Why the Muru? Why we are standing today? Why I'm standing today here? I can see the seven of the only because of my teachers. Karamba, I give my Pahar Mosa. I will like school at the Mirabu College, the Mirabu Kosas. A queen of the Mirakati, Hiram, a sea lady, Bagans, and they can become wonderful human. Means. They will be the most valuable assets. Other mama apar leba kara angam. Our children can do wonders. Only thing is we need a little bit of battery. Battery to viva. Kitan kon viva. Hello, I am Lao. I am here for you. This is not the end of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, ana ba mira luno to go to na fail or komi luno to go kon say viva ta arge angam mangi. So these people, these young people, they can do wonders. They will make our place, our state wonderful. I do not. I do not support to BBO. One student who was declared failed in the recent final semester examination of Bachelor of Science Geology Honours conducted by Manipur University turned out to be the third position holder of the state. The student is identified as Asina Begum from Nongpok Sikmai, a student of Waikom Mani Girls College. Speaking to media at the office of Desam, Thaubal District Council Association President Surja Kumar, Surja Kumar Inan stated that Asina was declared failed in the examination result, which came out on July 1st. He maintained that amid efforts by the student to apply for re-evaluation, controller of examination, Manipur University issued a corrigandum notice on July 12 and positioned Asina as third ranker. However, authority concerned failed to notify the same to the college principal. He expressed great disappointment over the recklessness of Manipur University. Taking part in the press meet, Arina Begum stated that she didn't even take the application form for further studies in Manipur University as she was declared fail. Lamenting that the issue has greatly affected her academic career, Arina Begum urged the authorities concerned to look into the matter and not to let such incident occur again. Tang try to enter or yet them Tado Piraponi, Aduna, Tang Tarani toys the MUB last the Suwe. Ado Betaragati PG Tom Nobuki Magi, a four thousand Bagila, the Suwe, Ado Taragati, Anganga Sigi, Magi, Tungu, Bamagi, Career Su, MU Natopire, Masi, the Sana Line Alote, High River, Exam Masida, Exam Controller, or Bigiba, Exam Controller, Luinana, Maga Marie Nava Masida Senariba, Mayangi Mataka Kudata. Vice Chancellor Gi Vijay Singh Zanjara Kanya Masi Matata Koi Akan Be Action Lobby Gada Bani Loi Na Na Langai Khadra Gadi Hai Riba Manipur University Na Lobby Riba Koi MU Gi Koi Ki Lai Riba Semester Exam Si Da Thar Riba Satra Satri Kuding Mak Ki C S Singh Si Ri Evaluation Tau Bagi Tanja Adu Kaba Be Sam Demand Tau Payai Kanglai Park Student Association District Council Judy Baum in a press release urged the relevant authorities to look into the condition of Judy Baum Higher Secondary School. Chief Minister Nongtuman Birin urged the public to contemplate on the catastrophe that may be brought on generation upon generation due to lack of proper education and drug abuse today. He was speaking at Felicitation Program for Excellent Police Personnel who played a major role in curbing drugs menace in the state. 
Manipur Police Department organized the event at the Banquet Hall of First Manipur Rifles. Chief Minister Nongtoma Biren presented a case award of 10 lakh rupees and a certificate it's to outstanding personnel of Narcotics Affairs and Border and Manipur Police who played major role in seizure of illegal drugs. Speaking at the event, Biren praised the state police for being able to recover illegal drugs worth 100 crore rupees in the international market in such a short period of time. He also mentioned that the exclusive first track court will be set up to book drug peddlers. Biren also reiterated that the BJP-led state government has enhanced ties between hills and valley inhabitants and has curbed bond and blockage in the state. The chief minister urged people to stand united against any atrocities. ไล่เรียนนะไปเลยเทรนเนอร์ดรกซาร์มไม่มีอาเซียนเดอร์กันนี่ให้ไปอดุกิโปตุเมคุยกิมิชชั่นมาทำมาได้ไปออปเปอเ
Farmers raised their concerns over scanty rainfall, failure of river lift irrigation scheme and lack of fertilizers to the agriculture minister during the interaction programs held at DAO Parampat in Imphal East and DAO Lamphel in Imphal West. Minister Hankalian listened to the grievances attentively and assured that the agriculture department is taking serious note on this, on this situation. He assured that initiatives are underway to provide water pumps and paddy saplings to farmers. The minister stated that the agriculture department can't intervene on its own to ensure proper functioning of the RLI scheme as the scheme is under the minor irrigation, Kada and water resources department. He also stated that distribution of water pumps to farmers will be useless without proper coordination by the water resources department. The minister urged farmers not to worry about fertilizers, assuring that there will be no issue of artificial scarcity of fertilizers as in previous years. The agriculture minister stated that 1,000 bags of fertilizers have been given by the agriculture department to local MLAs to be distributed to farmers who don't own paddy land patas in the name. ตาบีอัยมดิตสัตย์เตสีมายรดีเอเรียคราฮูซิกฮูซิคอมมานีเอโคชูสตาฟซูมารังคานาลีทรีตะสิงมายรดีฮูซิกรีพอร์ตฟ
Laysang Hidden Protection Development Authority Kiamge in a press release strongly condemned the planting of bomb at Imphal Public School Gate in Kanchipur on July 12. Members of Manipur Rifles Mail 2016 Bates took out a protest rally today against non-issuance of appointment letters of 441 selected candidates of the bets. Police halted the rally which began from Kaisampad Naimajam Laikai upon reaching Kaisampad Junction. Speaking to media, one protester, Imtiaz, warned of intense hesitations in every district if the appointment letters are not issued at the earliest. था तरुक तरे सुरे हुस पबले इरिसे दु अदुम समय नमसल लथम मगदी अखो जो फरक तारने इखो की आवाज से गवर्नमेंट पाली बसिन ख उबी ओखो ममांग द केरा गन खबर द द आउद मेम हाबसर र बने दु जि पबो केसम उबी दन लेंगा न अखो की आवाज से उबी दन लेरे दु तौमिन न की बेच 2016 की पुलिस अदगी जेलर सिंग लोइन मोइ द अपॉइंटमेंट तो ले बिदो अखोई की आवाज़ जिको उबी हो ना इवने अतु की प्रोटेस्ट नहीं ऐसे चचरे जे था तरुक तरे Members of National Food Security Act Development Committee and people of Kurai Sajur Laikai took out a mass protest rally demanding distribution of seven month rice quota under National Food Security Act scheme today. The rally which flag off from Kurai like Rembi Community Hall was halted by security personnel at Kurai Lamlo. The rally then went towards Imphali's DC complex. Protesters intended to submit a memorandum to the chief minister demanding to open adequate FAPE distribute due benefits under the scheme to the beneficiaries. Taking part in the rally, committee advisor R.K. Musna appealed to chief minister N. Birain to distribute the 7 months due food grains as well as 11 months due food grains under the scheme during the Congress government as soon as possible. Kurai ki cing de, hendak ki thah teri rasik agtena te, hendak ki biri ena lusting melengak lak teri aida, mamang dasu, mamang ki melengak ibu bina cip minister wajib matam da, kurai ki perja ki thah terama thoi ki cing je, masih jum mat kira bani, kurai ki mamang ki kerajaan mat kira cing thah terama thoi da, amat tuat na pipi wajib dina cip minister masih ada memori dam pi kira bani. Jadi Menteri Nama itu soi dengan tawgan ini, ayi huraan bayar benda te, korupsi tenggelam ini, kurai ki layar upper jagi ceng thatra matu ki mat pada, faharga madu dandi, pikan ayi besar, celi bodi lagi ceng da, mai ceng na, orang orang si Menteri Wei biri biri naik ki bani, madu nak kerajaan sakit kere, hujan ki thatra itu apa macam jilaku matam da, lepang mian mamang na tholk matam da, mani pur ki cip Menteri Nato mina lek tawgan si kari kena. Head of Department of Manipur University Commerce Department in a press release notified that entrance tests for MCOM course for academic session 2019-20 will be conducted on July 20 at 11 a.m. A mid card for the test may be collected on July 17, 18 and 19 from the department. School of Nursing, Sinai Institute of Medical Sciences has congratulated principal of the institute, Atopam Rajkumari, upon being accord accorded the International Indian Besties Award 2019. She was accorded the prestigious award during a ceremony held at auditorium of Gyan Bihar University in Jaipur. Teachers and students of the institute accorded a warm reception to Atopam Rajkumari upon her arrival at Imphal International Airport today. Uh, NRB Foundation, I'm the uh, Bavi International Sinba Handaki uh, Han Buena Sinba 2019 Gay Warney at the Haribe Warasi Aina 2013 the Gitos Arapa Social Activities Hiragadi Equina Orphaneski Anga Orphanes Taleba Anganski the Mutato Jerapa Amadi uh, infected um, um, ISIV infected Amadi affected Anganski the Mutato Jerapa Social Activities Masamusa Haraga Blood Donation Female Sex Workers Singi the Awareness Sing Biba Amadi Atayatopa First Ena Simba Aigi Profesion ni semua rile ni jawab awareness ke agam mau. Bisa rupa adu kita, aku ingin orang ayam fung dopoi na masih ke hari bah international Indian Best Day Award 2019 ni. Aku ingin tujuh pibir apa ni. Divine Life Club Langtabal in association with Caesar Hospitals organized one day free medical camp at the community hall of Langtabal Kunja Maya Lekai today. ENT doctors check up more than 300 individuals during the camp. Speaking to media, President of Divine Life Club. 
Yen Rembomibo Pishak stated that the free medical camp was organized to help poor residents of Langtabal who cannot afford hospital bills. <laughs> Film Acting Training Institute is organizing a day acting workshop from 24th July. Interested people may obtain further details from the institute located at Lamphel Sanka Hall. Now the sports news. Six-month-long grass, grassroots football development program held since February 10 at Nesu Ground concluded today. North Eastern Sporting Union Karai organized the program under the aegis of All Manipur Football Association which was participated by 102 boys and girls between the age of 6 to 8 years, 9 to 10 years and 11 to 13 years. Grassroots leaders as Sadananda, K. Narendrajit, Bungthoi Sanzenbam and L. Romeo supervise the young footballers during the program. AMFA General Secretary in Charles L. Jyotrimuroy Roy, Technical Director M. Ratan and Executive Member H. Megachandra and members of North Eastern Sporting Union Kurai were present in the concluding event. Coordinating Committee of All Manipur Youth and Students Welfare Association organized a blessing event for bodybuilder Lightonjam Resikanta, who is representing Manipur in the 12th South Asian Bodybuilding and Physics Sports Championship to be held from July 18 to 21 at Kathmandu in Nepal. Speaking on the sidelines, Lightonjam Resikanta expressed disappointment that inadequate supports given by the state government let many sports person of the state play for other states. It may be mentioned that bodybuilder Risikanta has backed junior Mr. Easier, junior Mr. World title in recent years. Speaking at the event held at Bhairodan Maxwell Hindi Primary School today, convener of Coordinating Committee K.H. Ramesor urged authorities concerned to uplift sportsperson of, the, of Manipur. He implored that most of the sportsperson of the state belong to poor families and they feel dejected when it comes to financial matters. Managing Director of Robotech Imphal Mantos Kumar also presented gift to Risikanta Risi on the occasion. Sports person number one, I think, massive work to support the government. I think that recognize you, like India government recognize that we can also pay for that. Government that we have him to also tap on the MCA. I am like that. I am MCA. I am pensioned. I am MCA. I am not going to. That's why I think MCA. I am support to the government. I think that Manipur government that we have support to the government that we have support to the government. That Manipur government that we have support to the government. That Manipur government that we have support to the government. That Manipur government that we have support to the government. That Manipur government that we have support to the government. That Manipur government that we have support to the government. That Manipur government that we have support to the government. That Manipur government Baratan School ke pula kanda Mongol Arshipat masyarakat pergi, koi pizza bni. Manipur gi, gi sana roisting na. Gi nasional bni, international gi, koi gi ham bakti, koi gi sana kono bni, koi ma ham yam sao nak kalah kalai. Saya gi malu nak go mana tu, kari gumba hilang tu dah. Mieng sambi dah. Koordinat ini kami tiga macai tiga nungai tu, pawai. Loya na Maria na bawa authority sing nasung saya gi powerhouse ni hari ba. Koi gi sports gi, koi Manipur si dah. Ahen bni mieng sambi dah kanda. Sana roisting sibu, ma pung pawa ma ting lai ba. Sana roi putok pada go men gi jua sewa dai tu lobby uhai na. Amfa head of referee Jadav Chandra Haubam in a press release notified that a friendly football match will be played between Indian Super League and Manipur 11 at Kumalam Park Men Stadium at 2 p.m. on July 19. Cookie Students Organization will organize a match and H. Kamba will be match commissioner come assessor while L. Ajit Kumar Kennedy Sapam, Rinko Hao Vashum and and Ibung will be referees of the match. Before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Chief Minister Nongkumbu Birin says 24 crore rupees has been earmarked in state budget to improve schools and the school for Gathansi scheme. Students declared failed in recent graduation final semester examination due to recklessness of Manipur University turns out to be state third ranker.
state government honors outstanding personnel of NAB and Manipur Police who played major role in curbing drugs manners in the state. Minister Karam Shyam reminds youths they have major role in nation building urges you to work hard and nurture their passion. Agriculture Minister V. Hankalian calls for proper coordination among various government departments to ease the plight facing farmers of the state. And Quirumban Ham breeds popularly known as Tongnambonbi status due to recklessness of authorities' concerns.